generated more than a billion dollars to help older Pennsylvanians. Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank on the Voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160. And it is time now for an interview segment presented by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. But right now, we're going to be talking about rugby. And I think it's probably one of the roughest and toughest sports out there, at least in my limited experience in seeing it. But the guy sitting across from me, Zubin Villamoria, represents the Indiana Warriors who are going to play in the state championships for club rugby. Zubin, it's good to have you back. Thank you, Josh. Pleasure to be on. Thank you. Now, I'm looking at this again. My experience with rugby is watching it on TV, watching uh, Rugby Sevens, the international Rugby Sevens tournament every that's shown every now and then. And I'm always rooting for USA, although I know we don't have much of a chance in Sevens. But... Uh, talk about the rugby that the Indiana Warriors play. Is this uh, seven aside or is this fifteen aside? This is the full fifteen, which is real rugby. Um, and uh, so, you know, as you can imagine, we we need a pretty full roster. Um, so, we've done a good job of recruiting this year. We have about thirty boys on the team mm-hmm. uh, and fifteen on the field at any given time. Now, many of these uh, players, I remember last year, whenever we were talking, whenever you talked about this, uh, that, uh, these were many of them uh, players from the Indiana football team or other fo- or people with football experience, because the sports are essentially similar in many respects. Yeah, a lot of the skill sets are. Um, we do have a number of football players. We also have a number of wrestlers right now. We have a couple of kids playing lacrosse and baseball. Um, you know, if if you're willing to put the time in to learn a new sport, we will teach it, no experience required, and you do not need a football background to play. How long has the Warriors program been been around? Now? Our first year was 2018. So, um, so we're in our fourth year of competition. Our, you know, what would have been our third year was Was canceled. wiped out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So here we are, year four, and we're in the state championship. It's amazing. That's a very quick progression to the state championship level. And talk about that sort of success. I mean, it comes from from the team building for these many, many years, I would assume. You know, a, a lot has gone into it. Um, the first couple of years were really a learning experience for the players, for the coaches, um, kind of figuring out what we need to do to be able to put a high-quality program together. A third year, I think we would have had a good team, and then COVID took care of that. Uh, last year, we did have a good team. We made it to the state semifinals. And really, we were just short a few players. We needed more bodies. Mm-hmm. And um, by the end, we ran out of steam. This year, we corrected that. And and here we are. And the other element that has come into it is the support of the community. And, um, you know, this is the first year where the school district has really got behind us and put some funding into the program, which has been invaluable. Mm -hmm. I'm a partner at a local law firm, Kaufman and Billamoria, and um, my partner, Tom Kaufman, has been a fan from day one, and he was really the driving force between making a very generous donation. We've also had donations from First Commonwealth Bank and Sheasley Electric, and uh, I've had other local business owners just in the past few days reach out to me. So we're really grateful for the community support and, and kind of the other element to that. You know, this community has been so welcoming of mm-hmm. my family and myself over the past few years. And I would love to be a part of bringing a state championship to Indiana County. It would be it would be the dream, I think, for a lot of fans of the sport to see that kind of happen here and kind of make rugby more popular in western Pennsylvania because, uh, like I said, the only time that I think a lot of Americans would ever see rugby is whenever it's broadcast on TV as an international sport. Uh, but uh, but let's actually get back to these local kids, these these kids. These are Because we are talking high school students. He's talked about it, wrestlers, football players, baseball players, lacrosse players. It takes a certain breed, I think, to be, to be a, a rugby athlete, I think, because of the fact that this sport is so physically intense. It, it is physical. You do need a, a level of physical and mental toughness to be able to be on the field and thrive. Um, at the same time, you know, I think rugby does get a bad reputation. 
Uh, and, you know, I've, I've said it on this show before that the fact that we don't have helmets and pads means that we don't have them to use as a weapon. Right. Um, I, we were talking about this right before we went on. I think what it does is it puts something in somebody's mind, and I think it kind of makes them check a little bit. I, I won't say hold back, but check themselves a little bit before they go in there full force at somebody. Because, well, the, because so, when you have the pads on, you go right in. Yeah, the other element is that it doesn't stop. These right. boys are running for 70 minutes, right? They're on timeouts. <laughs> they're on plays where you get a break after. So they, you know, they can't go into every collision full force. No, they have to they have to keep their endurance going because as you said you only have 30 players. You can only put and you put 15 half your team on the field at once. Right. So there you go. You need that endurance to be able to to play a factor in it. Talk about your boys. Brag about your team for a little bit. Oh my gosh. So talk about some of the people who would who've really stood out this season. I know it's a team sport, but who has stood out this year? Yeah, I mean, it, it really is a team sport. With 15 guys out there, um, you have to be strong across the board. Our co-captains, um, Jake McCracken and Zach Harrington, have been immense. Um, Zach is a four-year player. Um, Jake is a three-year player. And both of them um, have really taken this team... And the thing that I really appreciate about what they do is they will run players-only meetings, we'll leave them to it, and they have really taken on a leadership role. And why is that important in rugby? Because yeah. we don't have plays where you're playing for five seconds and then you get to look over at the coach and see what do we do next. The players have to take responsibility and they have to take control. Wow. Um, we have a number of other senior players um, – who have really helped take on a leadership role, Blake Hodak, Josh Nelson. I mean, I could name a bunch of them uh, who have just been so impressive, and some younger kids as well, Griff Prabish, um, and and some new guys from Purchase Line. We have four kids from Purchase Line wow. who have come in this year and uh, really made a big difference. The big thing, this is a club sport, so getting the support from the community, as you said, was vitally important, and now you're getting the support of the school. You, not only use of the grounds, but also their kind of promotion of the sport as The well. school's been phenomenal. Yeah. Um, the athletic department, particularly Scott Shirley, has really um, you know, given us kind of equal billing with some of the other sports that we didn't have before. So we have been able to use the turf field, um, the funding, as I said, the school board has been behind us. Um, we're getting publicity through the school district Facebook. Eric Pushka with that has yeah. been phenomenal. And the other shout out I want to give is Ali Hunt, the athletic, um, athletic trainer who has just gone above and beyond for our boys and really taken care of them physically. This is Indiana in the Morning presented by First Commonwealth Bank. We're talking with Zubin Billamoria about Indiana Warriors rugby. Let's get to the, let's get to the game. To, uh, it's going to be Sunday. It is the state championships. Oh, boy. And this is going to be the first championships for Indiana. Who are you guys facing? We're playing State College. Wow. Big team. Good physical team. Um, it's 2 o'clock Sunday in Reading. It will be live streamed on the Rugby Pennsylvania YouTube channel. Um, so I'd encourage everyone to... Find that channel and, and watch the match if you can. Uh, you know, it's it's funny because it is a huge deal. We're playing for a state championship. And yeah. you don't get to say that too often. No, you don't. But at the same time, we you know, we want to make sure that we are treating it like another match um, in the sense of I don't want to put more pressure on the boys than they're already feeling. Right. Um, and I want them to know that, Everything that they've done so far in practice and the other matches has been working towards this weekend. They don't need to do anything different. They don't need to go anything special. Just do what they have been doing over these past few weeks, months, to, and that and that will get them the championship. And, and the big part of it is their attitude. They came out last Sunday against Downingtown, a big rugby program from the Philadelphia area, and their attitude could not have been more on point. And if we can replicate that this weekend, then I'm not going to make any predictions. But on wood. I think we got a shot.
I I think he got a shot too. So whenever you face off against these opponents like a, like a Downing Town or another op- opponent that has had an experienced club long that's been here longer than Indiana, what are they saying when they see those boys come out on the field and they play? Are, are you hearing anything back from the other coaches like, "Wow, you guys are good," or "I wouldn't have expected that out of a four year team." You know, we we did have that. I think people now realize that. They're going to be in a game when they play us. Um, we are a very tough, very physical team. Um, at the same time, we also have a lot of skill. Um, so, you know, I, I think teams were taken off guard, particularly last year. I think they were caught off guard. This year, they know what's coming, and, and we're going to look them in the eye and <laughs> we're going to give it to them. And I'm feeling that. I'm feeling. I'm getting pumped up just <laughs> listening to this, <laughs> and I'm not even playing. So once again, the game is going to be against State College. Where is where's the stadium this time? It's Reading, PA. It's at Penn State Berks County. Okay. And they actually have it. May be the only one in Pennsylvania. They have a turf field that is custom made for rugby. Wow, that's good. So it's it's going to be pretty cool. It's a big finals day. So there's a girls championship. There's a youth championship. Um, and, uh, you know, Rugby PA is really hyping it. The other thing is that there will be scouts um, for a Pennsylvania all-star team. Wow, nice. But I would love it if a few of our boys can make it onto that. Um, and then that's kind of a launching board for them to go play in college. All right, excellent. So, and the match starts at what time again? 2 p.m. 2 p.m., and people can watch it on the Rugby Pennsylvania YouTube channel. And uh, if they want to go out there, more than welcome. I bet you'd be willing to see some red and black in the stands. Uh, for the we would team. love nothing more than to hear people cheering on our boys. Excellent. Zubin, we are just about out of time, but thank you very much. Keep us posted. And uh, I'm knocking on wood when I say this. I hope we see you next week and bring some of the boys with you, okay? Josh, I would like nothing more than that. Thank you. But let's cross that bridge first, right? You got it. All right. Thanks again. Zubin Billamoria of the Indiana Warriors rugby team joining us this morning here on Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, or interviews presented by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And we'll also keep you updated as to their progress as in the state championships with the with the sportscast on Monday here on Indiana in the morning. It is 824. 